Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So you want to sell your Mustang and a big part of it is making an ad for it. Um, you might have seen uh, vehicles on eBay, Craigslist, Auto Trader, bring a trailer. We're going to talk about what it takes to have a good description and good photos if you want to sell your car. It's actually pretty easy. When I used to do an ad up for a vehicle, it all started with using photographs, 35 millimeter photographs. I've learned over the years what to do and what not to do. Here's some examples of what not to do and what you can do. You could make your ads from looking like mediocre to stunning for really zero dollars. So check it out. Rule number one, always have the sun behind you. With the car in the shadow, the picture might be okay, but it's always nicer to see the sunny side. Another little rule of thumb I have is, don't take pictures with your shadow in the picture. It makes the picture frustrating and too busy and messy. So always stay back. You could always zoom in a little bit. And here's a little trick that I use. Go to the front corner of the car and you see you find the the uh, halfway point for the angle of the front corner and then you back up until the car is nicely in the frame and then I take one step to the side and for every photo that you take you'll be so consistent and they'll look great. So you can take that picture right there. Same with the back of the car. Find that midpoint. We should be taking that picture with the sun behind our back. So make sure you move the car so the sun is facing the back end. So we'll try that again with the sun in the correct location. And then one step over. And look at that, we got a nice angle. Do whatever works best for you. We'll take the picture. And also, I like to go right to the back of the car, take the picture. Sometimes I like to do certain angles to show certain features of the car. So I take the picture, and you know, don't be afraid to use a little bit of video footage. There's there's lots of uh, lots of storage on your phone. Sometimes I like to take a picture of the roof if you're selling it, especially if you have a sunroof. Take the picture, and I should make sure the sun is behind me for the front picture, so the sun is more or less to my back. I can take my picture and then same thing go to the front of the car find that 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 angle move back one step to the side perfect consistent photo right there I'll take the picture and you do that all the way around the car now sometimes it's nice to show some front end pictures but as you can see my shadow is in there. Back up a bit, zoom in, take the picture. Now we'll, uh, we'll uh, pop the hood. Like I said, you gotta do whatever you feel is best for you. I always recommend lining things up. Line the bottom of my picture up with the rad support or with the radiator. Take the picture. Or sometimes it is nice to have a bit of an angle to show certain features. That's fine, so that's okay too. Make sure your engine is clean, or somewhat clean, you know, you don't want it covered in grease. Also it's, like I said, if you take a picture of the wheels, make sure there's no shadows in the way. You can always zoom in. Sometimes it's nice to turn the uh, wheel out so you can see the tread depth. Here's a good example of just showing to show the tire tread depth. 
that way whoever's looking can see what to expect with the tires. Let's uh, move to the inside of the car. So as we walk up to take a picture, don't do this. I see this too often. I know there's not too much sun behind me right now, but try and avoid having the sun behind you for this shot. You know, get stuff off the floor, tidy it up, get that steering wheel straight. It's not supposed to be crooked. I don't think the manufacturers take pictures of the interior of their brand new cars like this, so you shouldn't either. One thing I like to do, I like to close the door a little bit. You can see the power window switches. And then I like to see that the top edge of the door panel is parallel with the top of the frame of my camera. Get rid of all that garbage. If you're gonna have garbage in your pictures, people are gonna offer you garbage prices. Another tip is make sure your seats are the same distance, front or back, and even the angle that they're reclined. So, now that our steering wheel is pretty much straight, we apply those principles to have the window switches in there, back up a little bit, hit the door frame parallel with the picture frame, and take the picture. That's just that much cleaner. Also, don't take pictures like this. Please don't do that. And for goodness sakes, don't take a picture of your car like this far away. Turn your camera, get all of the car in real nice, take the picture. So much better, so much nicer. Also, don't go out your front door and take the picture. Don't be afraid to put the price. Don't be afraid to put the kilometers. It is what it is. It's not like the person isn't going to see it if they go look at the car. So if you put a price of one, two, three, four, five, you think, well, the guy's going to get a hold of me for the price. But if someone's serious and they know the price, they'll contact you. Same with the mileage. My opinion, don't put one, two, three, four, five kilometers or miles. Just think if the car has 200,000 kilometers on it, it's a 30 year old car, potentially. That's like 6,666 kilometers per year, or, you know, 4,500 miles, which isn't much. A lot of these cars don't get winter driven, or they're driven on weekends, or raced on weekends. But the more information you put, the better. I like to include a Carfax report with my listings because. You want to be upfront, truthful. You want people to get the big picture. The more information you give them, the fewer questions they have. Uh, I had listed a, a vehicle online uh, a little while ago. I probably had over 60 photos of it. You know, it was an older car and I want people to see what they're getting. Even on these cars, show pictures of the underside of the car, show pictures of the underside of the motor, of the, uh, the frame rails, show pictures of the frame rails, like the proper part of the frame rail to show that it's not kinked, it's not rusted out. Don't just take a picture from the top, you gotta to get the camera right down in there. Also, if it's been repainted, say so. You know, paint the picture of how you looked after it and what you did to it. Also, it's always nice to show a photo of the mileage. And, you know, make a list of some of the stuff you've done to the car. If you've added headers, underdrive pulleys, uh, just say if you did some valve cover gaskets, if you had gears installed, maybe how old the tires are, rough tire tread depth, uh, accident history. A big thing, in, in my opinion, is the photos. Don't just take one or two photos of the same angle. Do a wide variety, lots of nice angles. Clean your car out, get all the junk off the floor. 
make sure the car is reasonably clean on the outside. I know today I didn't wash my car for these photos, but it still looks, you know, pretty decent. There's a bit of dust on it. In a way, you know, the ad that people see, that's, it's like going on a date. You want to kind of dress up a little bit. If you're, you know, first impressions are everything. So if you want to get a good price for your vehicle and you want to uh, uh, have people contact you about your car, you got to have a good first impression with your ad. I guess at the end of the day, you want to make sure that your ad reflects what the car looks like because let's face it, lots of people are willing to travel to go look at a car. When they get there, they want it to be like it, how it was in the pictures. You know, there's nothing worse than going to look at something and it's totally not what they say it is. You know, like I said, they are older cars. You can't expect them to be perfect, but it's just nice to know what you're going to go look at ahead of time. There's lots of really good ads out there. There's lots of good pictures, but there's some that, hey, maybe they can use a bit of work. And if you want to get that top dollar for your car, it all starts with the ad. Hope this video helps you guys out. Thank you to everybody for liking and subscribing and for all the uh, questions coming in. See you in the next video.